Flixer tutorial for beginners how to use Flixer. Hello guys, Ilya here and in this video I'm going to show you how can we use this online video editor to create our own videos. Basically it's pretty easy, just follow these steps I do to not make any mistakes. So in order to get started we need to click on flixer.com go to this website and as you can see we have a lot of buttons here but we need to click on get started in the right top corner so after that we'll come to our editor basically we don't even have to log in to start working with maybe if you want to save your project it will be necessary as for you but to get started we just simply need to click on get started so in the left side menu we have like our menu library stock audio, motion, text, subtitles, shapes and transitions. So of course on the library we'll have all of our files here. So as you can see I've already like edit one video. Also we can switch between videos, audios and images. So this is a way of how can we basically do. In order to import something we need to click on import right up here or we can record our like media uh, with our screen or something like this. So if you we'll click on import, we can just import from different resources from our computer, Google Drive, Google Photos, Dropbox, Zoom, Webex and so on. As you can see, uh, Flixer provides us the opportunity to like use a lot of services to import our media. Also, we can uh, use like stock folder to use a lot of different stock videos, images and GIFs. So we can just simply search for some category to like find the suitable video as for us. If we we'll input nature, for example, we can find a lot of nature videos we can use. They don't have any copyright, so it's pretty cool that we can use it like this. Also, the fat folder is about like audio, so we can just simply listen for every single audio we want to use for every single music and then decide is it like suitable for us to use some of them. Also, there is like option areas where we can choose different templates we can use with text and so on. There's like titles, graphics, as you can see with like subscribe buttons and so on. I think it's pretty cool if you have your own like YouTube channel or maybe Instagram, Facebook page. Also, there is like a lot of uh, different overlays. It looks like this. So you may come and try it by yourself. Maybe some of them are pretty useful as for you. Text folder, of course, where we have a lot of text templates we can use just from simple text to like all already customized text for example this one subtitles area and of course shapes where we can add some errors and some other stuff so let's try to edit our video firstly i'm going to add my own video on timeline so i need to drop it right up here and as you can see it has appeared on the bottom of the screen where is our timeline is so we have an opportunity to work with it so basically the first thing I'm going to do is just to scale it to the full size of our player to make it feel all the basically uh, part of the players so we can avoid any like black uh, parts of the screen. So after that as you can see what can we do we can scale our uh, timeline here we can just uh, scale it to the full screen of the wall editor uh, we can cut some parts right up here. We can delete our video, we can add track or we can go to settings. And also if we'll just zoom out right up from here, uh, we can find uh, like there is like editing page in the right side right up here if you are clicking on our video. So we have options to add transition it and transition out change some position. We can also change the scale as you can see if you'll just simply click and then just move from the right side from the left side. So basically sometimes it could be really uh, helpful. We can also reside like a feed canvas or fill canvas. Basically to fill all the window we can just simply click on feed canvas to make it like this. Also we can generate auto subtitles. We can crop as you can see so we can just simply click on this toggle. Uh, list and then just resize something we are going to do so just simply as you can see while we are changing these parameters um, the crop is like running right up here also we can add the animation so if you'll click on animation we can see our custom animations here we can add some keyframes or do some other stuff so basically sometimes it could be really helpful also they have the opportunity to loop our video for example make it to x so it will be like uh, successfully looped. 
So now I'm going to, you know, uh, avoid the loop. And also we can change the perspective. We have the effects folder where we can add different effects. For example, right, hexagon, butterfly wave. Basically, there are a lot of them. Maybe some of them could be suitable as for you. We can also work with colors, add some filters, and of course, work with audio. Change the wall volume, change the gain, or change the pan. Also, we can add our music. For example, let's try to use our like stock music. So we can just simply drag and drop it on our timeline also. So now our video will have its own music. Let's also add some text. I'm going to use, I think, these like customized text. Let it be like this. So in order to, cust uh, to change the text, we just simply need to click on it. And here in the right side, uh, we have like some settings, but we can simply like input. What do we need? Let it be the name of our channel so i'm going to click and i'm going to increase the size so now it looks like this uh, in order to change the duration we just simply need to work with timeline just simply click on corners and then just move it so now our video looks like this i'll turn off audio so it looks like this basically not that bad it's like only for the tutorial so uh, i hope you'll make it much better so you can also add like subtitles auto subtitle or upload subtitles let's try to add also something from stock or i'm going to add like maybe motion and graphics for example subscribe to my channel let it be like this so let's move and let's watch how does it looks like so it looks like basically like this pretty cool you know we can increase the size so now it can look much much better so this is how can we add different graphics in order to export we need to click on export in the right top corner right up here so if you'll click what do we need we need to save file as video of course and automatically download video so let's click on export and download and the process uh, will start in cloud you can close this browser window but before you do add your email and we'll send you a notification when the video is ready so i won't do this but this is a way of how can you basically export so as you can see the process began and like it's it's not that long it's, it doesn't take a lot of time so in a few seconds everything will be done so if you want to explore their prices maybe we can return to their website uh, and we can try to find is there like prices uh what what prices do they have so if we'll come to back to our page and we'll go to billing there should be somewhere here as you can see they have like a free plan pro and business it's not that like a lot or it doesn't cost a lot of money so you can find the differences right up here and uh, i think the the most important part is we can export in the highest quality for example in export in 4k for business only for $30 per month. So this is uh, how can we use Flixer for our online video editing. Hope this video helped you out. Please leave a like, copy, copy and subscribe. I wish you a very good day. Goodbye.